Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing another NES Classic. Today we're playing Bump and Jump. I don't want to give away too much before I play, so I'll hit the start button. So first we are a car. And there is a car that we love being taken away. And basically you jump is the kind of the thing you can do in this game. I, I held down the wrong button. Um, so when you get up to speed, you can jump and land on your opponents. And that tells you that there is a big jump coming, and so you better get ready. The P will fill up your meter of... I guess that's... Oh, you don't want to hit the sides, and the guys will push you into the sides. So don't let that happen. So in the upper right is uh, how much gasoline you have, which I'm guessing is petrol. That's why it's a P. Um, when the guys bump into you, lose a little bit of control of your vehicle, so you don't want them to hit you just as you're about to jump, because then you can't jump. Um, and that's bad. Um, the B button is... I'm not sure what the B button does, but every time I'm pressing it, it's not useful, so just press the A button to jump. Try to land on your opponents, and, and uh, don't let this dump truck dump on you, because it will dump on you if it gets a chance. Here these guys are, it's like bumper cars, which is why they call it bump and jump, because that's basically what you do, you bump and you jump. And we made it to the next level. With only 12p left, if you run out of there, then you're dead. So there, you want to crash as many cars as you can to get bonus points. And each level is a little bit different. It has its own... Oh, and you can control yourself a little bit in the air. I thought I was dead because I was in the air when that came up. Do you see how that guy just went straight through there? This game is not realistic at all. Which is probably why it's so much fun to play. And that guy is going to dump right on us. We're not careful. I do not want spinach on my head as a car. See, I knocked them into the wall. Got some points for that. That's something. See, I'm, I'm getting greedy now. I'm just jumping constantly. If you're not careful, what'll happen is you'll be in the air, and the exclamation point will come, and you won't have enough time. You see, at the first level, they give you lots of time with that exclamation point, but later, it's like, exclamation point, jump. You know, sometimes you have to even... See here, it's two in a row. And if you jump too late, you won't be able to make it past, like, the, the next one sometimes. Oh, yeah. Does that look like a Native American to you? Because it sure looks like one to a lot of other people. That may or may not be me. You just gotta love a game that says, Great! You crashed nine cars! I think the music in this game is wonderful. So you'll notice, it, now there are these narrow portions of the level, where if I get hit by a car in these narrows, I'm probably just gonna die. Maybe not quite that bad, but it's it's a significant risk. So I'm trying to get everyone before they get me. But you gotta be careful, because sometimes things will come where you need to jump. And... Oh, see, I can also just knock them into the edge. Why don't I just do that? I probably shouldn't have jumped these. There's going to be a time where I'm in the air and i got to jump again and I won't be able to. We'll see. Also, when I'm in the air, I can't get the petrol. Which can also be a big problem. Oh, see, now that was actually a good thing. If I had gotten with that dump truck left, I think it would have taken me to the next level or something. I can't even remember what that was, but it's really hard to get them because, you know, you don't know whether it's going to be a, a garbage dump or whatever it normally dumps. Or if it's going to be this thing that comes rarely that's good. So, I've played the Japanese version of this game, and the little thing it... Oh, I landed right on a rock. The little thing up at the top of the screen that tells you that you need to jump is a Japanese character. I don't know what it means, but in this game they just changed it to an exclamation mark because there was only space for one character. So they made it like, oh, exclamations! I don't know what that means. Oh, 
doing pretty good considering that I haven't played this game in so long, honestly. Of course, I shouldn't have said that because then I crash into stuff and I get a game over. So give this game a try. I think you'll enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Plus you can bump and jump. Alright, join me next time. Bye.